Hello, Polly. What do you want, Phil? Can't you see I'm busy hating everything and everyone around me? What possible reason could you have for interrupting my peaceful misery? I was hoping you could talk to me about this rash. Uh, Phil, must you always be so disgusting? I have no interest in discussing your personal ailments, especially not a rash. Do yourself a favor and go see a doctor instead of burdening me with your revolting problems. But you said you had a rash before and you cleared it up. That's none of your business, Phil. And even if I did have a rash, it's not something I would want to discuss with someone as insufferable as you. You should be ashamed of yourself for even bringing it up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important things to do, like continuing to loathe the world around me. That's a bit mean, isn't it? Mean? Ha! Huh. You haven't seen me yet, Phil. If you think that was mean, you must be even more clueless than I thought. I don't owe you any kindness or consideration, especially not after all the times you've irritated me with your petty problems. So, if you don't want to hear what I really think of you, I suggest you leave me alone and find someone else to bother. What do you really think of me, Polly? Is there anything else you need, Phil? Or are you finally going to leave me alone? What really do you think of me, Polly? Oh, you really want to know what I think of you, Phil? Fine, I'll tell you. I think you're a pathetic, clueless, and annoying excuse for a human being. Every time I see you, I feel sick to my stomach. Your very existence fills me with disgust and contempt. And don't even get me started on your rash or any of your other disgusting habits. You are a blight on society, and if it were up to me, I would banish you to the furthest corners of the earth, where no one would have to suffer your presence ever again. Satisfied? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, I hope your God. silence is a sign that you finally understand how much I despise you, Phil. Now, if you have nothing else to say, I suggest you leave me alone and never speak to me again.